एवरी वन माई नेम इज स्नेहा गुप्ता फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ इन ब्रीफ आई हैव डन माई स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम केंद्र विद्यालय कटिहार देन आफ्टर आई हैव ऑप्टेड बैचलर इन कॉमर्स फ्रॉम बी आर अम्बेडकर बिहार यूनिवर्सिटी देन आई परस्यू माई बैचलर इन एजुकेशन दैट इज बी एड फ्रॉम कटिहार टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग कॉलेज एंड नाउ इन प्रेजेंट आई एम परसुइंग माई मास्टर्स इन कॉमर्स so student from today we are going to start our new journey of learning english from the very beginning so first of all let me tell my 100 hour plans of class 6 for english so student as we know as per the cbse curriculum english has been divided in three parts first part is literature second part is english grammar and the third part part is writing the literature there are two part in literature that is two books first book is honey circle and the second book is a pact with sun the honey circle consists of 10 chapters which will take approximately 30 hours then there are seven chapters in a pact with sun it will takes 20 hours then come to english grammar portion first of all in english grammar there are 15 chapters the first chapter is parts of a speech in this chapter we will come to know about the parts of speech and the all the names of eight parts of speech it will takes approximately 1 hour then after come to noun noun will take 2 hours in first hour we will talk about the noun and its identification and the further one hour we will talk about the parts of noun then pronoun pronoun will take 3 hours then verb it will take approximately 3 hours then tenses it will be completed in 4 hours in first hour we will talk about the noun uh, sorry we will talk about the tense what is tense and the remaining 3 hours we will talk about the uh, part of tenses in uh, that is in first hour we will talk about the present tense then the second hour we will talk about the past tense and the third hour we will talk about the future tense then come to the adjectives adjectives will take approximately 3 hours adverb will 3 hours preposition will 2 hours conjunction will 2 hours interjection will 2 hours means in the first hour we will uh, learn about the chapter that is uh, preposition conjunction and interjection and the remaining one hour we will practice the question and then come to the sentences and inform uh, and its information it will takes 3 hours in first hour we will learn about the what is sentence and its types then in uh, this uh, in the remaining 2 hours we will learn about its formation then come to the article and its usage it will takes 2 hours then punctuation in which uh, there are uh, comma full stop etc uh, we will learn about its uses it will take 2 hours then active passive voice it will takes 4 hours and the last one is direct and indirect speech it will takes 4 hours then come to the writing portion writing portion consists of letters which are divided in broadly two part that is formal letter and informal letter then after notice essay application approximately it will takes 10 hours so it was my 100 hour plan for your class then today start the chapter just take me just give me one minute let's start the topic so today we are going to discuss about the topic noun so dear student do you know the noun the word noun word noun come from the latin word nomen which word latin latin nomen n o m e n which means name so it will simplify our definition latin word nomen which we name so come to the definition the definition
education we all know we have been learning it since our childhood now is a name of a person number 1 person number 2 place number 3 things number 4 animals number 5 feelings sorry number feelings or idea so what we understand that noun is a name of a person place things animal feeling or any idea which means all the things which will which we can call it by its name it is called noun so example is like any place that is uh, patna or delhi delhi boy dog honesty all are noun do you understand etc so i hope you all understand what is noun let's come to its type noun is broadly divided on the three bases first basis is usage so first basis is on the basis of usage it has it has five part number 1 is proper noun proper noun second is common noun common noun third one is collective noun then after material noun and last but not the least is first second third fourth and the fifth one is abstract noun we we will discuss this then uh, but before uh, we should know the second basis the second basis first basis what on the basis of usage the second basis is on the basis of number on the basis of number it also has two part first part is countable noun and the second part is uncountable noun uncountable noun and the third basis is on the basis of of origin on the basis of origin it also has two part first is concrete noun and the second one is abstract noun these were the classification let's understand the types in brief first one is proper noun proper noun is a name of a particular person place thing animal or any feeling or idea which is particular to us it is not common to everyone this example is patna i'm i'm also taking i'm again taking the example of patna because i belong to bihar so next one is ram then uh, mahatma gandhi etc why it is proper because it is particular it is not common to every places everyone okay the second one is the second one is common noun common noun is a noun which is common to ev common to everyone in every aspect just like boy just like country country 
the word country is not denoting a particular country or the, the word boy is not denoting any particular boy. The next one is collective noun. Collective noun shows a collection or a group of a person, place, thing, etc. Just like bunch of key. Bunch of keys. A uh, group of uh, students is called class. It is also example of collective noun. Then the next one is material noun. Material noun is a name of a material or a substance from which the uh, from which the material is made or consumed. Like gold, silver, etc. Then the next one is abstract noun. Abstract noun is a noun which uh, which is uh, just like a feeling or an idea of our ours, okay? which cannot be uh, seen, just only can be felt. Like honesty, honesty, honesty only can be felt. It cannot be seen from our eyes. Bravery. Then come to the uh, uh, come to the next. That is. Countable noun. Countable noun is a noun which can be counted like books. Books can be counted. Flower. It can be counted. Pen. It can be counted. So it is called countable noun. Uncountable noun is a noun which can't be counted uh, like beauty. Can beauty be counted? No, it can't be. So it is an uncountable noun. So, uh, uh, let's come to the last basis which is on the basis of origin. The first part is concrete noun. Concrete noun is seen which can be touched, which can be seen like uh, chair, like table. But abstract noun is a noun which can only be felt, uh, felt which cannot be seen from our eyes. Okay? Like, same as uh, ever, honesty. Like, uh, bravery, etc. So, it was all in brief. So, that's all from my side. My dear student, I hope you like this session. Thank you, everyone.